Hi, welcome to another episode of Hitting Some Games. I'm Ash. Today we're going to be taking a look at this great game from Purple Donkey, Say What You See, the quickfire catchphrase game. Anyone familiar with the TV show Catchphrase will know exactly what this game is all about. Let's take a look and see what you get. So when you unbox Say What You See, you will find these two lovely uh, little pockets full of cards. You get 100 cards in this game. Um, really nice little pockets, really nice holders, good quality. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the great thing about this game is I don't even need to tell you uh, how you play this. I just need to show you. So let me get a few cards out. I'm going to turn these over and for those of you watching this video, if you've got a few friends, you may as well just play along, okay? So obviously you know the answers are going to be on the back of the cards from this one, but if I turn this round, so say what you see. Any ideas from that? I will tell you. Beaten, black and blue. B10, black and blue, very good. Any ideas for that one? Let's have a look. Too funny for words. Too lots of funny for words. Like it. What about this? Three times over, maybe? Leftovers. Ah, very good. The Iron Curtain. See that? I on curtain. Any ideas for that? Hitting below the belt. This one. Bolt upright. Back to square one. Matinee. I know that one. Any ideas? Broken Promise. Yep, I remember that one too. Middle Aged. What about this? Well, it was the first card we saw. Scrambled Eggs. You see that? Let me get a few more out. Just a few more. You get the idea of this game. Back door. Big if. <laughs> you must get this one. Crossroads. So, 50 cards in here and 50 cards in there. They're both the same difficulty, um, and yeah, let me tell you what I think of this game. Now, I was a fan of the TV show Catchphrase when I was a kid, um, and of course, I absolutely adore this game. Since I got this for Christmas, I have played this numerous times with different people. I suppose the only problem is that after you play this game a few times, you start to kind of know the answers to things. There are a few tough ones in here that you, you might forget, um, but yeah, once you've played it a few times, you'll definitely be head and shoulders above the rest. But it is really cool still to play the game and, and watch others kind of fathom things out. Because remember, someone needs to hold the card up for the other people to see. So if you've played the game a few times, that may as well be you, or in my case, me. Um, the quality of the game is really fantastic. Uh, th this company, Purple Donkey, I haven't played any of their other games. I really would like to. But do you know what? The, there is a nice um, gloss finish on these cards. They're thick, they're shiny. I don't know if any of their other games are like that. I would love, if anyone knows, please tell me. But the finish on these cards is absolutely fantastic. The box basically tells you what, what it is. You know, everyone knows what, what catchphrase is all about. So nicely designed box, but the cards really are of a great, great quality. Um, it's a fantastic game. It's one of those games that I can't really say a bad word about it because everyone will get involved and have a lot of fun with this game. I've taken this game to work before. People have loved it. I've taken it uh, around 
dinner parties with friends. You know, it's a nice warm up game before maybe a bigger, longer board game, more complex, but yeah, great fun uh, for the whole family, really. And uh, it gets your brain thinking. Any game that gets your brain thinking is good in my book. So yeah, this game, definitely a hit.